Hey everyone and welcome to Awesome Riff of the Day number 8 with the Zoo. Uh, what a great classic riff put down by Scorpions guitarist Rudolf Pornstash Schenker on this one. Uh, now remember last week when I mentioned that the commentaries during these uh, Awesome Riff videos could go off in any direction whatsoever? Well, get ready. Uh, now, as I, I couldn't find any interesting anecdotes or stories with regards to the writing and or recording of the Scorpion song, The Zoo, uh, I figured that I would talk about the next most important thing with regards to the great German metal band, The Scorpions. And that thing would be Rudolf Schenker's glorious 80s mustache. Uh, actually, I, I think he eventually ditched the porn stash over time, but that early look of his during the 70s and 80s is indelibly etched in my brain. Uh, only uh, very few rock and rollers in history could pull off a mustache and make it look cool. Uh, sadly, Rudolf Schenker was not one of them. Uh, the subject of my last uh, awesome riff of the day, uh, number seven, Frank Marino could, however, he absolutely nailed that 70s long-haired mustached look. Uh, alongside Dickie Betts of the Allman Brothers Band, who had a, a very similar look as well. In the Cameron Crowe film, uh, Almost Famous, the lead guitarist uh, Russell Hammond of the band Stillwater, played by actor uh, Billy Crudup, was actually modeled on Dickie Betts' great look during the 70s. So, uh, who else? Let me think. Uh, Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent crushed an awesome mustache during the 70s as part of his wild man look. Uh, Frank Zappa, of course, with his famous stash and his little uh, soul patch underneath. Uh, Dwayne Almond and Lemmy Kilmister from Motorhead. Uh, Dwayne Almond actually wasn't in Motorhead. Uh, both rocked a great stash, but they kind of cheated a little bit by attaching it to their big mutton chop sideburns. Uh, Neil Peart of Rush and Husker Du bassist Greg Norton both rocked a, an awesome twirly stashes uh, in the 70s and 80s. Uh, James Hetfield of Metallica absolutely killed the handlebar mustache uh, after he cut his hair off. Uh, Axl Rose of Guns N' Roses and his handlebar mustache, well, not so much. <laughs> uh, and that's pretty much all I can think of. Uh, but there were a few who uh, really made it work in the rock and rock and roll history. Uh, Rudolf Schenker was not one of them, unfortunately. Uh, for some reason, the Scorpions even thought that it was a good idea to put his full face with that ridiculous mustache on the cover of their 1982 album, Blackout. Uh, that's actually not true. Uh, it's actually a self-portrait of the artist Gottfried Hellwein, uh, but I always thought it was Rudolf Schenker, and uh, I'm not one to let the truth uh, get in the way of a good story. Uh, anyway, so Rudolf Schenker didn't have a very good mustache during the 80s. Uh, I'm sure he'd be crushed by my critique. Uh, he could, however, write a killer guitar riff, uh, and this is one of his very best. Uh, he actually wrote the bulk of the Scorpions' music uh, alongside lead singer Klaus Meine. Uh, so let's have a look at how to play it. Uh, let's have a look at Rudolf Schenker, his mustache, and uh, the Scorpions with the Zoo. All right, let's have a look at the Zoo by the Scorpions. Uh, we're in standard tuning with this one, and uh, it starts off like this. <laughs> And uh, so that is a, a, an E power chord, but not just a two finger power chord, it's a three finger power chord. Uh, seventh fret on the A string and then the uh, ninth fret on the D and the G. So that's seven times that you're gonna alternate pick that, that power chord. And then you're gonna go D to E. Then you're going to go uh, C to B, back to C. And then you're going to slide the whole power chord back into E and then go back to D. So it's the whole thing is... But done in power chords. And then you're going to repeat it. Second time, instead of going back up to the E power chord, you're going to stop at the D.
and then you're going to repeat the entire thing over again. So basically the whole thing is power chords done to this pattern. So it's all, it's, you know, seven, five, three, two. And it's, and that's the, uh, the opening. And then we get into uh, 16 bars of just chugging on the low E string palm, mute, palm muted. So. famous uh, little riff. Uh, so that is your ring finger on 12 of the A and your index back on 10. And then you're going to hit it once and slide the whole thing back to uh, 10 on the A and 9 on the D. And the whole time you're riding the open E string. So you're going to repeat that three times, and after the third time, you're going to move back to here, which is your ring finger on nine and your index on seven, and then you're going to move that down two places. And then you're just going to move the whole thing right back up again to the same patterns we already played moving down. second time instead of going back up to there on the uh, the tenth and the ninth you're going to move it back down to seven five and the whole time riding uh, the uh, muted open e and uh, so the next part is actually another guitar but you can uh, simulate it on one guitar by hitting the octave play the same chord but grab the octave uh, of your uh, your A string up on the G string with your pinky. And in this case, it would be at the 14th fret. And then you move the whole thing down. So you're playing the same thing on the A and the A and the D, but now you're adding the octave of the A string. And so in this case, it's 14th fret. When you move it down, it's the 12th fret. You move it down, it's the 11th fret. And you move it down, it's the 9th fret. And it sounds something like this. And then it just goes back to riding the open E string and that's where the singing comes in. So that's basically it for that riff. Uh, very, very cool riff. So let's just run through it slowly uh, one time before we stop. one you can kind of let that ring and then we'll 
back in, chuck in the open E, and let it fade out. And that's when the singing comes in. So that's how you play uh, the Zoo by the Scorpions. Great, great, cool riff. One of my favorite, probably my favorite Scorpion song of all time. And uh, I hope that helped you out. I hope you like my little commentary on mustaches. And uh, I, I look terrible with a mustache. So I'm, I'm a good one talking. So uh, you guys take care of yourselves. And uh, we'll see you next time with Awesome Riff of the Day number nine.